And as for the waiver, we are requesting that we obtain a waiver if the board thinks necessary. Um, and to do so, we re it's required that we at least one of the two following conditions exist that the proposed sign uh, is designed to be harmonious with and not harmful or injurious or objectionable uh, to existing or future uses in the area. It's a commercial zone. I think the proposed sign meets that uh, condition. It's harmonious with the location and the zoning in that particular area. And two, the unique conditions and cir circumstances are not the result of the actions of the applicant taken subsequent to the adoption of the sign bylaw. Uh, the purpose of moving the sign uh, is, is in, in part because of the taking of this state, so there's a requirement there. So I think we meet both of those conditions that uh, require, uh, that are required to meet just one of them for a waiver. So for that, we are seeking the special permit and a waiver as well. I like this picture here with the with the person next to it. That gives you a really good idea of how tall it is and how much vision you give in there too. Yeah. Compared to the old sign where it was pretty low in the ground. The bottom one was hard to read. The, the updating of the sign uh, enhances the area. It's the cleaner looking and nicer looking. It gives uh, you know a definition and a a very prom prominent and sign it just enhances the, the, the location rather than standing out as you know being shaped or how it is currently kind of falling down and old. I think it's a benefit to the neighborhood. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so you said because of the taking, you have to take down the old sign, correct? Right. Okay. So I mean, I think it makes sense if. It, that you're going to be doing something that, as you said, enhances the error. It's much more appealing than the prior sign. Um, and I mean, you've already stated that with respect to the electronic sign, it's going to comply with all the, the bylaw requirements in terms of you know, its illumination and how often it, you know, Correct. display turns over and everything like that. Correct. Um, and in terms of the, the third sign, I mean, I do see the, I mean, technically it's, you know, it's one sign and then a second sign. I mean, it's just the, the, the one sign has two parts, essentially, the, the electronic sign. Um, and I mean, given that this is a, the strip mall, you'd also want something on the building which identifies which, which property is yours. So I think that makes sense. Of course, no changes to the sign on the building. No changes at all. No, no, no. Um, the, uh, no, no changes to the sign on the building. The, uh, I'm trying to see if I have a photo of me here, but uh, if 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 anything, the strong hold up sign may come down, so it'd be less signage. Uh, but but no other the other two locations, there's no other changes to the signs. And if we have to come back for a sign for a new tenant, we were capable of doing that for this particular sign. We're asking for the special permit. Well, I want to thank you for the, the, the visual. It really helps out. It does help. Bring it on back. All right. Um, anybody on the board? Any other? I mean, as I said, I, I mean, given that the the applicant has to take the sign down and start over again with the new sign, I mean, I think this is in keeping with with the with the area and the commercial property, and don't have any issues with it. And I mean, he does meet the requirements with respect to the. It was, you know, not the result of his actions that he's required to replace the sign, and I do think it's. You know, harmonious with, with that commercial area. Mm -hmm. 
it's actually better, you know, more appealing than the prior. Do you want me to read it? Hmm? Yeah. Want me to do it? make the motion? Yeah. 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 Um, the Abington Zoning Board of Appeals approves the petition from Stephen Johnson, trustee of PBMA Johnson Realty Trust via San Diego Sign Design Incorporated, 170 Liberty Street, Brockton, for a special permit under 175.58.2.1 for a digital sign or electronic sign and a waiver under 175-58.2.1. Three for an additional third sign at 1437 Bedford Street. The property is located at Sessions Map 68 on Lot 20 in a TV zone. All right, do we have a second? I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. That, that's why I wanted to read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one. <laughs> a little stuttering through it. Congratulations and good luck. All right, thank you very much. Have a good night. I haven't done one of those in a while, as you can tell. <laughs> stutter, stutter. Good luck. All right, so the next order. Did, do we want to go over this? We didn't go over this, this um, the dates. Were we supposed to do that in old business or? No, that was just your copy. Just you informational. You mentioned those at the last meeting. Okay. And that was just a, a copy. All right, so this is for next year, the date yeah. for next year. Okay. Yeah. All right. Put that on my refrigerator. I'll have to go buy one at the town of Abington. Business is the discuss filing instructions and rules and regulations. So I think Nancy sent out what was the most recent version that Amy had uh, reviewed, and that was back in February. Uh, Prior to COVID? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Pre COVID. Really? Oh. But I think this would be the final version, unless you have other questions yeah, or changes. I saw what you, yeah, yes, yeah. And I think, um, did the zoning, did um, Marshall have a comment in there too? Or Marion put a comment yeah. in there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which, I, I Which you incorporated it. anyways, yeah. yeah. All right. So there were two separate things. There's the instructions and then there's the, uh, the rules and regulations. What is that right there? That's the instructions. No, that one right there. This is the current application. And I think I just want to print out what these are the current instructions. Okay. So these would replace what's on there now. And the only thing I think we'd have to add on to the new instructions is the, the filing fees. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, are these pretty much the same thing as we have now? No, oh, it's a little. Or is it much? There's, I think it explains things a little better. There's a lot better explanation. Yeah. A lot of facts in here now. Right. I mean, as far as people, you know, people come in for a variance or they come in for a special permit, I think they kind of expect that it's an automatic thing. Uh -huh. This kind of Clarifies explains to them that's not why the it's case. not. This is this. These are the criteria you have to meet in order to get a special permit. These are the criteria you have to meet in order to get a, uh, a variance. So I think people aren't going to be as surprised when they come in front of us, and maybe they don't get the variance. Yeah, aren't successful. They're going to. Yeah. It's, it's, right. Yeah. All right. 
No, so I went through it. I think everything was good. Um, and then, Nancy, you've reviewed them. Marshall's reviewed them, correct? We can go over them. I don't, I'm out. I'll find them. Do you want to go through them? I helped make them, so I'm fine with them, too. Well, yeah, I think oh you my God. We, we, we worked our ass off of this. I thought you guys didn't go over it tonight and just, you know, just break through it a little bit. I'm the only one that thought that, huh? Okay. Yeah, I, I reviewed them before. They, yeah, I mean, they've been circulating for a while. Um, Did they say anything about getting rid of me? No. No, <laughs> it says we're going to keep you forever. You were, we went off. <laughs> we're going to ball and change. You want to do it one more? I mean, this could be like a first reading, and then we could have a final reading next meeting, just in case you want to give it one more meeting before we finalize them. Is that? And I, I've reviewed them. You've mm -hmm. reviewed them. Nancy's reviewed them. Yeah. Amy's reviewed them. I mean, Nancy, do you have anything to say? I mean. Yeah, I mean, I have, I have questions because I mean, I'm going to get questions. From, yeah. Okay. From people on, on the instructions. I know it isn't numbers, but it, it is in page three. Um, for special permit. part of a special permit, there could be a variance also involved in it. I think that's the way you explain it. So there might be two steps you'd have to go through. So there could permit. be a variance and a special permit, right. is that what you mean? Right. I think, yes. Yeah. I think we've had that before. So they, they have to, they're filing for two separate things. We've had that it's before. It's not included in... Amy, Amy added that in there. I'm not sure. It's probably better to check with her to see exactly what the special problem is. Not the wording just. Yeah. It, it, mm -hmm. it is a bit of a. I mean, it, it, I think that the paragraph also works without it. Yeah, you can take it out. Which part? The variance part? Just, just a, the whole that sentence, particular yeah. sentence. To me, it made it sound like the, that was almost like part of the special permit. Uh, it does sound confusing. I think the use of the second variance might be. I don't. I, I, I'm, pretty I, sure, I'm pretty sure that we've had, you know, special permits and variances on the same. On the same application. Yeah, but it would it'd be separated. It wouldn't be right. You know. Is that what she's trying to say? Or? I do see what she's saying, yeah. A special permit is not a variance, but may include a variance. I just like... Mm. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... May include a variance of dimension. So I, I think as part, of the, as part of the special permits, you could give some relief for dimensional and other requirements as mm. part of a special permit. I think that's what it means. It's not, think, a, it's not going to be a special app, another application for a variance. As part of granting that special permit, you may be able to give some relief on um, some dimensional requirements. I think the, the second variance she's using is like deviation or something yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, as opposed to the actual term of art. It's got to be confusing for someone who's only. Yeah, yeah, if it's yeah. that confusing, maybe we should just yeah, take just it out. cut it. Yeah. 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 And what else? Anything other like a layman? You know, uh, someone coming in here. Nancy, do you think is there anything else that really kind of pops in your head that is it, is this going to be more work for you, or is this going to be basically a Pretty much standard thing because you're doing all the paperwork. <laughs> mm. You're doing all the paperwork. We so we went from, from two pages to five for instructions, then 16 for rules and regulations. So it was, and when they get the application and the instructions, 
Are they supposed to get the 16 pages? No. Those are our internal yeah. rules. And those are us. That's just for us. That's like get rid of okay. get rid of Rich after 10 years. No, like it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says put the chip ball and chain around Rich <laughs> after the 10th year. You know what I mean? That, that, that's like a rule regs for us. So I think the rules and regulations should go up on the website so people can look at them. But I don't okay. think that gets handed out as part of the application. No, no. The application is just this well, and then the instructions. This, this no. See, we, Nor we do you have to explain have the to, rules and regulations. Let, let me just say this. We have to, we have, all the years I've been here, we need to satisfy Nancy and calm her down and make sure that <laughs> she is. <laughs> did, did that well, work? I, I, did, did, I think, that, part, I think part of the reason for doing these instructions, Nancy, is to try to take some questions away from you. <laughs> well, we were hoping. No, I think that's the, that's the intent is because, you know, if you have to answer questions about what do I need for a variance, whatever you need, yeah. it's, it's, a, you, it's all right in here. You need to yeah. read the instructions and, you know. Okay, well, that makes it a little easier. And like I said, I did um, start to de check with the assessor's office, and when people go to the abutters list, um, they can request a copy of the deed yeah. through them, so that makes it a little easier. Yeah. See, we don't want to scare Nancy out of to retire no, no. or something, so <laughs> that's She's one. not going anywhere. Good. Good. You're not going away. She's not going away. All right. Hey, we're here. I, I, I hate to be the, the spoil of it all, but I, and you all guys are not going to be happy with this, but I would like to hold off and read this. Okay. I do apologize. I didn't grab it in time to read it. It's my, my fault. But the best thing is underneath that mask over there, she's smiling right now. <laughs> That's all that matters. She smiles, we all smile, right? Yeah. You feel better about it, Nancy? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, I thought they would have to get this. And did this, I mean, you didn't think it had to be voted on for me to Part of the code doesn't it have to be voted on in some meeting or no? What's no. that? So it's the, the rules and regulations. No, those, those are according to Amy. Those are our own internal yeah. rules and regulations. So the the town bylaw says we shall adopt rules to govern our proceedings pursuant to Chapter 40A right. and B. So and this is why we have lawyers on the board. A copy of the same should be filed. With town Nancy, uh, lawyers on the board. Okay, but I mean this mentions code. With the chapter. Yeah, so 17582 C is the town code chapter that um, permits us to, to adopt these. Okay. Yeah, that's Because we always ask that question. Elevation of all existing proposed construction. Elevation of social group, the heights of any existing building. Also indicate the height of any existing and put that in the first time. Yep. That's a good catch. Oh, yeah. The elevation of all existing proposed construction. Because we're always asking, you know, the height of the building and all that stuff. Good catch. On page four, I see your comment. We actually discussed that at one of these meetings, correct, where it was a septic. And we said that um, we just don't get them a lot, but I think if we, there is septic involved, we're supposed to have the Board of Health sign off, correct? I think so. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. On page four, uh -huh. did you have a comment on 
E yeah. about the septic, yeah. We had flagged that at one of the prior meetings on this. And I think we checked with, did we check with Amy on this? Or we, uh, she, she's reviewed the okay. yeah. No, I know, I remember I had that specific question the last time because we haven't seen them. Yeah. But, uh, did you check with the Board of Health on that or anything? I didn't check with the Board of Health. No. Let's kick it over it's then. It's going to tie their application longer before we get it. Well, don't we get something now from the sewer department saying whether or not... Uh, it's going to take effect um, on the storage. Yeah, when we get that, property. That comes from John Stone. Um, I mean, if this has to go to the well, this, this is only has, but this only has to do if there's a septic plan involved. In which the town every application must be accompanied by a letter signed by the Board of Health indicating its approval of any septic plans. So if there's not a septic plan, if you're hooking up the town sewer, then you don't have to worry about this that. won't be this included. Is not a septic plan. Right. And the town kind of frowns on that right now, don't they? Because they have yeah, all the connections. I would think everybody everybody plans. had to connect up at one time right. or another. So it's only if you're if you're looking for a septic plan. And I don't even know if they would approve that for a new construction. Septic. But again, only if there's a plan. If there's no if there's no septic plan involved, then you don't need the Board of Health's involvement. Okay. Right? So if they're submitting a plan that has a septic plan on there, then they'd have to get the Board of Health's approval. If there's a plan without a septic system and it's yeah. connecting yeah. to the town sewer, then you don't have to worry about a plan. Okay. I think she took care of that. How does our um, next meeting look? Um, we had one filing today. Um, we had one filing today, and that was Zero Summer Street. It's what? It's going to be our show. Um, uh, where is it? Zero Summer Street, up next to the train station. Oh, that's coming in front of us? Yeah, for Watershed. But I talked to Marshall, and Too, and I'm going to look it up. A couple of different boards, and they've got 35 days to get back to us before it goes on the agenda. Uh -huh. That's the way he explained it. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't come back to us in time for the December meeting. So I told them it wouldn't be on until January. January. Okay. okay. Um, All right, so we, we have next meeting to go over this too. I, right? I just hope, I mean, we're limited. Right, if there's a big crowd for so, that meeting, yeah. I don't know whether you want to even consider Zoom. I don't know. I know the planning board, their last meeting was zero summer. They had to call it mm. because they had too many people. Mm. Um, so their next one is November 16th, and it's going to be Zoom. And I know the residents are it's not be happy. Very no, I, I don't even see it. I don't understand how they can get away with that. Well, how about, yeah, what about the high school? high school? Yeah, you're still limited. You're still limited to the number of people, people right? Uh, that can attend. Well, yeah, how many people is it? I thought it was in. How do we get away with like town meeting and things like that? Then? I think they have a special. 75. We couldn't even get 50, so don't worry about it. <laughs> 
fire world beam. <laughs> did they go from 50? No, we 50. Didn't. Has it gone back well, from 50 to 20? I thought it was, in, oh, we got it. Thought it was inside meetings with 50. Did Special they, did they roll that back to 25? We couldn't no. hold the meeting. I mean, for town meeting, that's a different. No, no, but I thought a, I thought a regular meeting was still. No, it's no, only twenty five. Limited to twenty five, yeah. but you still like for this room, you wouldn't even fit twenty five. No. Right. Yeah. Because you're still going to be six feet. Mm. Yeah. Supposedly the planning board used the senior center for their last one, but as you said, there were too many people anyway, so they. Yeah, couldn't. I mean, they did the senior center the last time, and. Um, I'm sorry I brought it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just wondering what the I just was wondering that what the agenda was so. But well, we can talk about that in December, I guess, right? Yeah. 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 Maybe things will be different. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we ought to be secluded <laughs> permanently before we... How would we... Yeah. <laughs> if we did it through Zoom, though, I mean, would we have people... You'd comment through Zoom? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the school committee was just having Zoom meetings, but you weren't really commenting. Right. No, they have, to, they have to have the right to comment because it's a public hearing, so... And I, I know Amy was talking about, I watched, I watched that planning board meeting, and she said it's not going to be easy to do, but they'll have to do it. So. Is she going to the meetings? She went to that planning board meeting the other yeah. night. And I, mean, I, think she I would like to have her here. I'm, I don't know what you mm -hmm. guys, but if we, if we have a meeting, I think she should be in on it. Well, I guess you could do what the planning board did, is see if you get, have it scheduled regularly. Not here, but maybe at the senior center. If you get more than 25, then you'll just have to say, we can't hold it, we'll have to do it Zoom. Maybe, maybe you won't get a big crowd for the watershed protection. Oh, oh, you'll get a big crowd. Yeah. Um, we, we, yeah, you'll get a big crowd. So we have that. That's a possibility that that could become. Yeah. So right. I don't have anything else. Unless something came in tomorrow, I don't have anything else for, um, for December. December. Okay. So guys, is it okay, is it okay <laughs> if I, uh, <laughs> is it okay if I, yeah. We, yeah, I'm embarrassed yeah. about well, it. If I give you another month to Let's, take yeah. a look at it, you can, you, I'll talk about me when you leave. No, we won't. <laughs> I'll um, talk about you while you're here. Okay. <laughs> That's all right, too. <laughs> so, and there's a reminder to anyone viewing at home that there is a um, town meeting on Monday night, and zoning articles no, will. Oh, Tuesday. Oh, it's night. Tuesday? Tuesday? Oh, I'm, Tuesday. I apologize. Tuesday. I thought Tuesday. it was Monday. Zoning articles will be discussed. Well, thank God I brought it up. Exactly. <laughs> Nancy, thank you. you didn't even know it was coming. No. All right, so it's Tuesday. You're not checking us, are you? Tuesday it is? All right. That's 7 o'clock. And just, to, just a reminder, there are a lot of change, a couple of changes coming up on that, um, on that meeting that, that actually involves taking away um, variances changing it to special permits and the planning board would be doing the special permit. So um, I suggest anyone who lives in the area, what is it, Lobster Barn? Mm -hmm. Shows up because it's gonna affect you. That's all I can say about that. Anything else, guys? No. Motion to adjourn. No. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, adjourned. All right. So I